our trip to New York was crazy. When we arrived, we discovered that it was snowing. We were prepared. We had brought our luggage to store while we traveled out to the city. First stop, the 911 Memorial. Here are the footprints of the World Trade Center buildings that fell with the names of each of those that perished on the wall. These are the reflecting pots. There are two, one for each building. The 911 Museum in itself is an amazing site. The museum is vast and it covers a very large area. You must allow for a great deal of time to see it all, but it is well planned out and in chronological order. From the time the first plane hit the tower until the destruction of the second tower. Next was a trip to Lady Liberty. I was excited for Miri to see that one. And then a New York subway ride to the Empire State Building. What a view. You can see the entire city from here. The Chrysler Building was our favorite. Then we went downtown to Times Square. Times Square is a vast place that a lot of people travel to. So, uh, Mary and I are in a New York City cab. <laughs> and look at the roof. So cool. It's totally see through. Boom, Times Square. Awesome. <laughs> Right now we're on a horse and buggy uh, riding through Central Park. We're from Las Vegas. Here, driver, look back at my camera. <laughs> Can you? Hey. Hello, everybody. Welcome to New York, Las Vegas. <laughs> ah, always wanted to do this. After the trip through the city, it was time to board our flight to Portugal. <laughs> Hello, I'm with her, the pretty one. <laughs> and that was it. A 15 hour whirlwind trip to New York City. We saw a lot of things in a short period of time, but it can be done on a very small time scale. If you plan it correctly and use technology to your advantage, you can see just about all of the major attractions there are to see in New York. Next stop, Paris, in the beginning of the Camino de Santiago, or the Way of St. James. Goodbye, everyone. Be sure to like and share and comment on our videos below.